What's up, man? 17 fans. My name is Cody. I want to welcome you to today's video. Today's video is going to train you guys on a very simple method to beat uh, cover three or really single high coverage, off coverage. Uh, and this is something that I'm actually really, really uh, proud of. I think it's it's simple, but it's very, very effective, very difficult to stop. So um, the play comes from Atlanta. You can actually do it from different different types of uh, playbooks, but you, what you really want to do is you want to get a bunch and you want to get the play vertical. So the verticals uh, from the bunch is always a good play, but it's very good this year for this specific defense that we're going to be attacking. So so whenever I see this, I lick my chops. Uh, whenever I see off coverage, I really, really think that, that there's a lot of ways to exploit off coverage. And here's how we're going to do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our tight end on an out pattern. The second thing we're do we're going to do is we're going to place Terrence Williams here on either we can put him on a slant if you want to, or you can put him on an out. Uh, personally, the slant probably works better for the play, uh, but the out works more consistently for what we're going to actually have him do. And then what I like to do with my running back is place him on a little uh, little release pattern to the flat. Now this is very simple. You're going to motion Des Bryant to the left. If the quarterback backs up, you're going to throw it. Just outside pass lead, and you want a possession catch that. So, again, what you want to do is you want to outside pass lead it, and then you want a possession catch the play. Now, the cornerback, again, watch. He's going to go back first, immediate throw, get the ball out of your hands quick. Uh, it's a very quick passing play that we utilize here. So, let me take a look here in instant replay and show you what I'm talking about. So, basically, what you're reading is this corner this is the key to the whole thing if the corner goes back then you're gonna make that throw as you can see here corner is gonna go back you're gonna make that throw every time now here's something that they may try to do to trip you up they may just say alright we're gonna throw this corner into a flat zone and then we're gonna put this guy into the deep throw now if they do this you have a you have an option so the, say the cornerback stays flat immediately hit that tight end okay immediately hit that tight end because what that tells you is it's a cover two and really what it really means is the play is kind of dead so the main read is taken away so we're going to hit our check down read so here we'll show you a tampa two defense just in case you can still beat tampa two with this um, and what you can also honestly do is you can throw it over that flat zone as you can see there okay so those are a couple of options now the, the really the the, the kicker the, the part of this that's going to make it difficult is if they play cover two if, or if they play um, cover one man so something like something like oh, let's see I don't know what we're doing. okay something like this cover zero cover one uh, really the kind of a, a similar type of defense here so you're going to see that if you try to throw this possession catch you can kind of fit it in but it's it's not as open as it normally would be um, now a couple of options you got is you can actually you can actually kind of hit that tight end you can see you can aggressive it and kind of user catch it but it's not really a good look um, not not clean not crisp not what we want to do so what we're going to do instead is you can look to the tight end quick normally he's going to be open if it's like a pressure blitz type of situation Normally he'll be open. Uh, if, if it's like cover one, he's all obviously a, another good read. But another read that you can hit on this play, if that's work, if that doesn't work, is this is why we put that guy on that slant. So man coverage slant, and the Dak Prescott made a bad throw there. But um, show you this again. One of the things I've also been uh, kind of toying with a little bit is low pass leading uh, slant route. But anyway, we'll come back here. So there, main coverage that's taken away. We want to hit the slant. Now, as you can see there, the slant sometimes, sometimes it doesn't open up, right? And unfortunately, that's just the reality. So what we can do to, you know, kind of make it more consistent is I would put him on an out route. And if they're off coverage and that he runs an out route, he's going to be wide open all day. Wide open, wide open, wide open, wide open, wide open, wide open, over and over and over again. It's very difficult for someone to stop a quick out in this game. 
very, very difficult. As you can see, his quick five yard outs, even if they're in zone, um, the quick five yard out does a really, really good job. And, and that's why, so zone coverage, you can throw that in there uh, a little bit, but not always. But you can toy around with the slant. The slant will work better for the whole overall flow of the play. And again, you can toy around with low pass leading them. But what I would really just kind of give you guys some advice, this is something that is just really, they can't stop this play. Right? If they're off coverage, they're not going to win. That route is open every single time. Every single time. Here, let's check and look. We'll show you here. Here's a baseline. Look now, if they press coverage, this gets that's where things get tricky. So when they press coverage, even if they're in cover three and they press coverage, it's still a little tricky. They can make a play on the ball. It's not something we really want to throw. What we could do, in theory though, is if they do this, we could high pass lead this. But it's where you get an accurate throw. It doesn't always work, right? So anyways, this is what I'm going to recommend. This is a very effective play in my opinion, and you couple it with a couple of other things that we can do from this formation, and uh, it really does work well. There's a play that we'll be breaking down in a future video on how to beat cover two. It comes from one of my favorite plays in the game, play action post. Very, very uh, effective play, but where it all kind of begins is it forces them to get out of off man coverage from easy, 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 com easy completions, guys. Easy completions. So, something I'd recommend. And uh, anyways, guys, that's really what we've got for you today. If I could give you one piece of advice with this play, it's only do it against off coverage. Um, just don't even try, don't even really waste your time trying to do anything other than off coverage, because it just doesn't work very well. And also, I would not throw the the uh, wheel route against man to man. Only really zone, but it works. It's a very good play against zone coverage. Cover four, cover three. Even cover two, if they're backed off, even cover two, if they're backed off, it, it could potentially be an option. Because if you wait and get it over him, hit that back, that's, a, that's an option. But uh, anyways, guys, so just wanted to share that with you. I hope it's helpful. It's a very, very good play when you talk about people that love to run cover three zone blitzes. This play is phenomenal against that. Um, one thing to kind of be sure that you're doing is whenever you try to make this catch, you run your player to the outside and you possession catch it. So just hold the left trigger or the left analog stick to the left. It's going to make this very, very effective getting that ball outside. And you want to really kind of try to make a back shoulder catch. Anyways, guys, my name's Cody. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about Madden 17, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you with our next video.